What's up? Um, so, apparently a lot of people are having a hard time beating Chapter 20 in Uncharted 4 on crushing difficulty. Um, someone even asked me to upload this, just wanted to see a way to do it. Um, it's, it's a lot easier than people realize. I think the problem is people are just used to the old Uncharted where you can just stay behind one cover spot and just take everyone out one by one. You can't do that in this. Um, the cover is destructible, like these boxes right here. Also, the longer you stay in that spot, the quicker they will be able to throw grenades at you, and the quicker they'll be to shoot at you. The more you move around, the more they move around. Um, so, I mean, that that's definitely gives you an advantage because if you know if they're moving, they're not shooting you, uh, basically. Um, you know, another key thing is pick up any ammo while as you go along. Pick up grenades, especially because you're going to need them for when the big armored guys come. But uh, also there's a couple spots where there's uh, indestructible cover. This is one of them, this pole. Also right below that pole there's a wall that you can use that it can't be destroyed. So, I mean, if you get into a pinch, you use that. Um, but, I mean, really this is much easier to beat than the first three Uncharted were on crushing. Because you can actually move around and get away with it. And the other ones, they're pretty much shooting you instantly. Um, you couldn't take as much damage in those games, and also the, it was they could take more damage. They were definitely more bullet spongy in that game. Um, aside from a couple types of enemies in this, that most of them are very easy to take down. Also, pick up power weapons anytime you see them, like that Barrack 44, uh, that pistol that I just picked up. That's very useful for taking out certain enemies, um, like the guys that come to try to choke you, they put you in a rear naked choke or whatever, so in your tapping wa uh, triangle, or whatever huge pain in the ass so it's good to have a gun that'll take him out in one shot um, which is exactly what I did same thing with that grenade with the grenade launcher um, but yeah like I was saying pick up every grenade you can and just spam the hell out of the first uh, armored guy um, try to pick up more and then maybe you can spam just you know just as many at the next guy but if not you know do what I do try to find some cover try to f you know find some more ammo and just make sure you're not staying in one spot because eventually he's just going to walk right up to you and shoot the hell out of you and you won't be able to do shit because he does take a lot of bullets. So, I mean, you really got to be ready to move if he's getting close. Um, you cannot stay in one spot, which is, I think, the biggest problem people are having. It's really not that hard to, to execute once you realize that you have to move and also time your movements. Like, when he's not shooting that gun, which is... There, there are good windows for you to move where he's not shooting use those windows to move to another cover um and then you know once you pick up one of these it should be a lot easier to kill the rest of these guys i mean at this point it's it's already done like i've already beaten this part um and uh also if you're really stuck take a break i especially suggest that you sleep on it um because for some reason it was so much easier for me to beat this part the next day uh, i beat it literally on my second try and i was stuck for a little while the night before, but, you know, don't give up. It's really not that bad. See ya.